what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about sinners in this video here today sinners we know is the upcoming film from ryan coogler his next feature film who also wrote the screenplay ryan coogler that being it's starring michael b jordan Haley steinfeld jack o'connell omar benson miller delroy lindo and several others the film is revolving around two twin brothers who are trying to leave their troubled lives behind, who return to their hometown to start again, only to discover that an even greater evil is waiting to welcome them back. Now, the trailer for this dropped a week ago or a few weeks ago at this point. I wanted to go over some rumored plot details and expand on what's already out there and set the table for what you guys can expect. I will again just say this is rumored, although the source of the information is quite credible and I'm certain that a lot of this will be confirmed sooner rather than later. Let's go over who these twins are and just go into some other things about these characters. So Michael B. Jordan stars as twin brothers named Elijah and Elias. Now their nicknames are Smokes, for Elijah and then Stacks for Elias. Haley Steinfeld stars as Mary. Lee Jun Lee stars as a character named Grace. Delroy Lindo stars as Slim, who I'm told is a pianist or some type of musician. Jamie Lawson stars as Pearl. Omar Benson Miller stars as a character named Cornbread. Wumi Mosaku stars as Annie. Miles Canton, who is a R&B singer, I think in his debut feature film role, stars as Sammy, who is Smokes and Stax's cousin. Now the story again follows a pair of twins returning home in 1932 after spending years in Chicago. So this is right after slavery was abolished, if I'm not mistaken, remembering my history correctly. And the Ku Klux Klan, of course, is still very prevalent. They are a, a pivotal role in the narrative itself. But the twins purchase a mill, a mill farmhouse, hoping to make some money by inviting old friends to a dance, but vampires ruin these plans. Now, Michael B. Jordan's dual performance as Elijah and Elias, from what I've heard, is already being praised. They're saying he does a great job distinguishing between the two. There's also a romance angle between him and Haley Steinfeld, who I'm also told does a great job in her role in this film as Mary. So as far as that romance angle goes, Stax, a.k.a. Elias, used to date Mary before he left town with his brother. Given the time period this is set in, Stax decided Mary should be safer or would be safer and happier with a white man. And ever since he's left town, Mary has been angry about this because all she wants and still wants is Elias. The story is constantly highlighting the twins being up to no good in some capacity or at least teasing something went on in Chicago that they had no business doing during their time in Chicago. There's also a ties made to a very notable mobster cap Al Capone. There's a lot of arrogance that these twins display, but their little cousin Sammy is being raised up to follow God by their uncle, who is a reverend. Now, while the story is being advertised to be about these twins returning home, Sammy seems to be who the story is really about and his distinction between deciding if he wants to follow God or if he wants to dance with the devil like his cousins seem to be. There seems to be some sort of theme surrounding living a fast life, being greedy, getting ahead, being overly arrogant and not being self-aware enough of the times that you're in. There seems to be something along the lines of those being the primary themes featured in Sinners. The tagline for the film does say, if you keep dancing with the devil, one day he's gonna follow you home. What Sammy's dad tries to drill into him while he continues to hang out with his cousins who live a life of sin. That's the line he tries to drill home into his son, that you need to not hang out with your cousins. They're living a life of sin, they're going to get you killed. They're probably on their way to being killed. And we know, of course, this is highlighted in the trailer when vampires attack the farm mill house that they're in, where they were trying to make money off of a dance that they were doing. There's a lot of stuff that goes down in the film. Obviously, I'm being told that for the most part, it's fine. It's depicting the times that it's setting quite accurately. Most of what I'm hearing, though, is that it's it's mixed to just decent at best. I haven't heard too many things that are unfavorable, but I'm also not hearing that it's great. You guys might have a different opinion on it, myself included, when the film actually drops, but I just wanted to give some more details on what's going on in the film. One of the twins apparently have a military background, which I believe is Smokes. He has a military background, and the ending of the film, I'm being told, could be quite divisive. Not in a Joker Folly I'll do type of way, don't worry about that, <laughs> but just because of what's being depicted on screen and the the discussions that I'm sure 
will be sparked by it depending on how popular this film gets but that is what i wanted to talk about when it came to sinners i thought that the trailer did a wonderful job peaking curiosity and not not revealing too much but then i also from what i'm hearing can appreciate that the vampires themselves aren't explored too in depthly but are some connections that are revealed in association with the clans members that are also prevalent in the story and the way they kind of just shroud what happened in chicago with these twins in a mystery that seems to be an an element of the story that constantly keeps you intrigued well what did you guys do in chicago what did you bring home with you because now we have all of these vampires here vampires i don't believe followed them from chicago the vampires seem to have already been present in the town but you'll learn more about that and how they all connect with the clans members you'll also learn more about whether or not Haley steinfeld is a vampire or not because i'm not going to tell you that and you'll find out of course who lives and who dies and who ultimately is going to choose the path of god or the life of sin dedicated to serving satan doesn't seem to be overly preachy but the themes about it are made very clear at least from what i can gather let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video